Hey guys, Blamager here, and we're back with another episode of Let's Play Wonder Project J, Mechanical Boy Pino. On the last episode, we found the treasures of Tonga. In this episode, we're going to continue on and find out what's in store for us. There's a fighting contest being held at the castle for the purpose of recruiting new Royal Guard trainees. If Pino were to win that, he could show the king himself how incredible Gijin really are. Let's train, Pino. And welcome to the crapshootiest crapshoot that there ever was a crapshoot of. I don't know where I was going with that. Anyways, I was talking about how there's luck involved in this game in the last couple episodes. This is where it is at its worst. And the first thing that we want to do is get our kindness below 50. So I need to read that twice. And that ought to do it. I'm just going to go ahead and save. And I'll show you guys what happens without doing any kind of stat manipulation. Other than that, what I already d just did. I'll tell you what the effects of that is if it doesn't end up going on its own. Alright, so let's just head on over to the castle and see what's up. To the castle front entrance. Joshua, let's watch how Pino does. Hey you, girl, where the hell's the contest? You need to learn some manners, boy. And she kicks his ass. Ah, scary girl. Okay, so obviously... You know, it's got too much aggression. So we've got to tone down his aggression a little bit. And of course all his other stats dropped a lot over there on the right. But I'm not too worried about that. So we'll drop his aggression with the trumpet. I thought I'd drop it one step. There he goes. Just going off on his own. There it is. There, now his aggression is 98, so let's see how he does now. Oops, that was the wrong place. Let's go to the Castle Corlo. Um, ma'am, you know, um, your p panties are showing. It's a leotard, you idiot! And she kicks his ass again. Ah, scary girl! And that's what happens when he's too sporty. So how do we get past this? Actually, I will go ahead and uh, increase his kindness again. Just because I can. I'm just going to reload my save after I get done showing off these possibilities here. Alright, that lowers my sportiness, and now my intelligence is my highest stat there. 
So that will be the prevailing personality trait this time. So what happens now? Hello, could you direct me to the contest area? Huh, now he acts like a normal person. Heh, <laughs> it's inside the castle, but you weren't planning on trying to enter, were you? <laughs> Never mind, I guess that's a silly question. You can't be that dumb. So that's the trick to getting past her. You gotta have intelligence being your highest stat. Hmm, boy, you trying to enter the fighting contest? <laughs> no way! Eh, wait a minute. A red cape and messy hair, ruffled clothes a size too big? Could it be? The one Masala told me to? I guess he had to go pee. Nope, oh, he's back. <coughs> well, we'll make a special exception, I suppose. You may enter the contest. But just in case, let's make sure you know what you're doing. Show me you can use that sword. So our kindness is low enough to be able to swing a sword, but... Ah, excellent swordsmanship. Well then, let's start the real test. See if you can beat this challenge. You, come here, I've got a job for you. Now we're gonna have to fight. Ha! A human child? This'll be a joke. He looks the same as number 46. I... I don't want to fight him. And that's what happens when his kindness is too high. It needs to be below 50. So, let me just uh, load up my save real quick so I don't have to redo most of those stats forever and ever. It takes a long time to do. Alright. So, ideally, I want my aggression to be 98, my athleticism to be 98, my intelligence to be 99, and I don't care what my sensitivity is as long as my kindness is 49 or lower. So, I need to lower my arm power and my attack by one step. And I can do that with a grammar book. Uh, that lowered my arm power to 98, or 97. Ideally, I would have wanted it down to 98. Stop right where you are, Pino. Stop. Where's that trumpet? There it is. Now the trumpet will lower my attack. And I do need to boost my confidence. Charisma doesn't matter. I want my stress lower. So I'll let him do this to boost up his confidence. As well as getting his intelligence stats maxed out. I'll do this a couple times and get his confidence up to max. It's important that he has maximum confidence. Although, I think I will wait just a minute before doing that, because I do need to buy... Well, actually, I don't need to buy anything, because I should have two of those A-chargers. Man, you really need to sit still. Yeah, I have two. Okay, all I need to do is get up his stats now. His reasoning went down because he slammed the door open. You know what? Just go ahead and eat this. If you're lucky, the sit-still will last the entire game. And if you're unlucky, it could not work at all. Alright, 
Alright, so we'll get his intelligence maxed out and his confidence maxed out. And that'll do it. Give him two A chargers. It's almost a waste to give him a second one, but usually I don't have that much energy left over, so whatever. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and save it again. Alright. Everything looks good. Intelligence is our highest score. Kindness below 50. Everything's maxed. I just hope that he either prays to the door or picks it. Good. Good, good, good. Perfect. Why do I care so much about everything being perfect? Because this chapter sucks. Oh man, if it's not perfect, you're pretty much going to lose. And if it is perfect, you're still at a disadvantage. It's... it's bad. There's one other section that's kind of bad, but I think this is worse. Anyway, let's watch how Pino does. Your energy doesn't really matter, but your health needs to be 500. So he's going to act civil with this girl here. Since his aggression and athleticism are not his highest stats. And when this guy makes him use the sword, that will actually increase his aggression and his athleticism back up to max. As long as you have it within one or two points. So you're always going to end up using 10 energy right here. There's, there's no way to get around that, so... We're gonna go into this set of fights with 490 health at most. But you can have all of your physical parameters maxed out. But you definitely need confidence maxed out, as well as uh, luck. And I think having trust maxed out helps as well. Any, anyways, welcome to the combat of Wonder Project J. It's on autopilot. All I get to do is just sit here and cheer on Pino. Come on, Pino, don't let him hit you. Jeez, you're doing terrible. Walk more. Okay, good. We took him out, but we took three hits too many. Honestly, that was a terrible run. Usually, he'll take one damage at most from the Gijin, but three or more is bad. A, a child beat a Gijin soldier. I don't believe it. Fantastic! Congratulations, you passed the test! I'll show you the way to the contest. Hey, Turtle Bus! You have a passenger waiting! Turtle Bus? Huh. Wonder how that works out. Is the turtle gonna carry me across the wall or something? The Turtle Bus will arrive shortly. Climb aboard. This would be neat. Oh, it's like actually a bus. Oh, I get it. It's shaped like a turtle. Okay, I see that. So like I said, this is a crapshoot. You want to save when you get your stats, you know, as perfect as you can get them. Because there's a good chance you'll have to reload that save repeatedly to get past this. That was just the first fight. Oh, there's more. <laughs> there's definitely more. Because if you can't tell, now we're in an arena. We are proud to present the Royal Fighting Contest. The contestants are... Eh? Only one? A child? 
Masala commands it. <clears throat> ah, excuse me. The champion in this contest will be recognized as the greatest warrior in the kingdom, and will be able to start down the path to becoming a royal guard. We can expect a great show from the contestants. For the record, the swords used in this contest are all wooden replicas. Now, presenting the sponsors of the contest, Prime Minister Masala and His Royal Highness King Corlo III. Wow, the king! The king! Cool! Eh? A boy? Masala, what's the meaning of this? You know children aren't allowed to participate. Your Majesty, there is no cause for alarm. That is no ordinary boy. What? Not an ordinary? What are you talking about? Just look at him, he's just a child. What's wrong with you? Your Majesty, Please, give him a chance to prove himself. Also, in his case, we can do away with the standard contest system. It's a bit sudden, but we will start the contest with a match versus Jean. G jean Is this your idea of a joke, Masala? <laughs> well, let's see, shall we? Jean, show this boy a good time. Well, who's my playmate for today? Eh? Boy, you're the one I met in front of the castle, aren't you? What the? Why should I have to waste my time beating up a punk-ass little kid like this? What the hell is Masala thinking? Bah! Suppose an order's an order. Boy, don't think I'm going to go easy on you. I hope you're ready. Alright, so it's time for more autopilot fighting. And she got a punch in the face off on Pino. But then Pino countered with a nice, nice jump attack. But therein lies the problem with this battle. Pretty much every time he goes for a jump attack, she's going to kick him in the face. Rarely he will get the attack off like that, though. So, you really are just hoping that Pino can get the job done here without taking too much damage, and he just took a critical to the face. That's going to hurt his chances a lot. And you may be saying, the Black Magic, he's got 458 health, she's only got 40, she's done! Well, it's not over yet. Eh? Ah. Uh. Unbelievable! That little boy defeated Jean! Jean, you went easy on him because he's a child, didn't you? Damn, that hurts! What? No, I didn't pull any punches. I went all out. How is this possible? I can't stand it. It's so humiliating. Hehehe! <laughs> Jean did nothing of the sort. This boy really is that strong. However, your majesty, even that was not a good demonstration of his true abilities. Guardy, an opponent awaits you. Here's where it gets real. This guy has 500 health. So, he starts out at an advantage over us no matter what. Not too shabby, boy. I've never seen a kid just waltz in here and take down Jean like that before. Well, I can't say I'm going to enjoy beating up a child, but the time has come to show you what real strength is. And once again we have an autopilot battle. Oh nice, Pino, nice! And that was not so nice. But still... Pino's critical did more damage than Guardi's. And here's what you're hoping for. You're hoping that Guardi does not score any critical hits, or not many if he does, 
and you're hoping that Pino can land plenty of critical hits. But there's another thing to worry about in this fight. Because he has so much health, this fight can drag on. If Pino's confidence drops to zero, he will give up. But it's not like you can check what his confidence is at. And Pino just took another critical to the face, so that is not good. Come on, Pino. You can do it. I really don't want to have to go through this repeatedly. Just, just win, Pino. Oh, come on, Pino, you gotta block that! You can't just sit there and take every hit he dishes at you. Come on, Pino! You got to block, man! You got to block! You're just taking hits left and right. It's like you're not even trying to block. Yeah, I, I really don't see how Pino's gonna win. Definitely not gonna win now. Not after taking that critical to the face. About the only way Pino could win now is if he stops taking hits and gets in a couple criticals himself. But he's gonna keep taking hits. I've never seen him fail to block so much against Guardi. Well, that was a nice hit, but he's still not blocking. Come on, Pino! Man, it's so close. He, he could pull it off, but I don't think he's going to. Nope. That's it. Done. Masala! What was that about no ordinary boy? Uh, um, he was supposed to win. And so that's what happens when you lose. Of course, I'm not going to stand for losing three days over this. But that's going to do it for this episode. This has been Let's Play Wonder Project J Mechanical Boy Pino. I am Blamager, and I'll see you guys next time, where hopefully we will win this event. See you guys then.